Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm attempting to make Filipino cuisine. Two years ago before I actually started vlogging my travels, I visited the Philippines with one of my best friends Charles, staying at his hometown Zambales. I was fortunate enough to experience Filipino culture and food firsthand. This is definitely an experience I will never forget. If anyone knows Filipinos, they will know that they are some of the most hospitable people out there. So in the hopes to share some of my food experiences from these travels, today I will be attempting to make one of the most famous Filipino dishes, adobo chicken and tortang talong aka eggplant omelette. One of my favorites from this trip. So let's cook! First up, you will need to marinate the chicken for about 4 hours or as long as you can. The chicken I used for this was drumsticks, you can also use thighs. So for this step I just chucked in all the ingredients which included soy sauce, vinegar, black peppercorns, garlic and bay leaves. Now I found it kind of confusing online because it seems like everyone makes adobo chicken differently so I didn't really know which recipe was the correct one to follow. But the one that I'm following says to marinate the chicken, so I've just pulled it out of the fridge and it's been in the fridge for about three hours. So this is what it should look like after it's marinated and now we're going to fry the chicken. First we have to fry the onions. Now this isn't a traditional way to make adobo but I think that onions just bring so much more flavour into the food so that's why I've chosen to use them today. So let's get frying. So first we're going to fry the onions and just fry them a little bit till they're caramelised. Recording. So I just added a little bit of water to my onions to caramelise them a little bit more. So as you can see they're kind of looking more kind of brown now. And I'm just going to push them to the side. So now it says we have to add the chicken to the pan. Okay, so we just let that fry for a while. So we've just fried the chicken on both sides and now this is where we add the marinade. So I'm just going to pour all of that marinade on the chicken. I'm putting the bay leaves in as well because the recipe that I'm following says to do that. You need to add 3 quarters of a cup of water till it fills up the pan and just braise the chicken for 30 minutes. While we were waiting for the chicken to braise, we started making the tortang talong. So for the tortang talong you will need about four kind of small to medium sized eggplants because they need to be able to fit into your pot for boiling. About two to three eggs, salt and pepper for seasoning. I've got a lot of spring onions because I really like spring onions so I've got about four spring onions chopped. So first up we have to boil the eggplants in water because you want to make the eggplant soft enough so you can peel off the skin. We have to boil the eggplants for 20 minutes. You only seem to show up whenever we have food, don't you? He usually shows up at that time of day. Yeah. He's our dinner time friend. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes now since I've been braising the adobo. So it looks like this and the chicken's kind of falling off the bone. But if you wanted to make the sauce thicker, you can keep frying it. But if you want it to be kind of soupy and saucy like this, then you can just leave it like that as well. And now we've got the eggplants for the for tang talong. And they've been boiling for 20 minutes now, so I need to take them out of the pot and take all the skin off. So I've just run the eggplant under hot water and now I'm gonna take all of the skin off. I'm not quite sure how to go about this because I've never done it before, but this is how it looked on the video. So it's gonna keep peeling around the edges. Skin is coming off really easily though. So it turns out I'm not a great eggplant peeler, but luckily Carlos stepped in for me and finished the job. Okay, so that was a lot harder than I expected it would be, so Carlos ended up peeling all of these for me. And they look beautiful, except for we accidentally cut off the tops on a couple of them, but that's okay. So I'll use this one. So now what we have to do is kind of flatten it like this, so that it spreads out. And then you keep the head so you can hold it. I've got three beaten eggs here, so I'm just going to add some salt and pepper to that and mix it together. Okay, so this is where the eggplant will go, and now we fry them. Okay, so now we've been heating up some oil in the fry pan, and we're going to put the eggplants in to fry. So we're just going to fry them until they cook. It's 
two, three. Okay. Right. So Carlos pretty much did that all for me, but we have to fry it on both sides, but at the same time while bathing it in the oil, mm -hmm. like this, so that it will go brown on each side a little bit. I think this one is almost done. We're getting there, right baby? Yeah. Slowly but surely. I think if I did this by myself it would not look like that. <laughs> I think it would do a good I job. I would have just fried it in a little bit of oil. Ooh, looks nice and gold. Good job, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very well. Okay. Okay, so we finally finished cooking. And so here we've got the adobo chicken and the tortantalong. And now we're going to give it the big taste test to see if it lives up to my expectations. Okay, so I'm going to try the tortantalong first. This reminds me every day in the Philippines, we used to wake up and have this for breakfast. So I'm not quite sure if they eat it for dinner, but usually you would have this with rice and eat it for breakfast in the mornings. Wow, you can taste all the oily goodness of the eggplants. Ah, so good. Okay, so now I'm going to try the adobo chicken. So this is um, the two main ingredients, obviously, and here are the vinegar and the soy sauce. For some reason it kind of tastes a little bit sweet. I'm not sure if that's because we put onions in. But you can still taste the saltiness of the soy sauce. I just expected it to be a lot more salty. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. It turned out really well. This food gave me immediate throwbacks to my travels in the Philippines. And I can't wait for the next time that I get to visit this beautiful country. Thanks so much for watching. I hope everyone is taking care of themselves and their families. And make sure to stay tuned for next week's video where I attempt at making another international dish. Alright everyone, ciao ciao.